Welcome to the EPCC Libraries video series. I'm going to show you how to navigate the main EPCC website for the libraries. You can go to epcc.edu, then select Menu, select Resources and Services, and then Libraries. Or you can also just Google EPCC Libraries. There's many of information resources you can access through this website. The first one is Get Connected. This will connect you with a librarian 24-7. You heard me right, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can chat with a librarian and ask a question, whether it's how to cite a book, how to access a journal article, or any other question you may have related to the libraries. You click on connect now, it'll open another screen and you select here, welcome to Libshed, type your name, contact info could be your phone number or your email, preferably an email so a librarian can follow up with you in case you get disconnected or you need additional information. Next to it, there's frequently asked questions. That's our FAQ where you can find answers to most of your general questions like library hours, what are electronic reserves, uh, can you borrow books, anything along those lines, you can find it there. Back to the EPCC main library. If I scroll down, we have EBSCO Discovery Service. We have an additional video that will show you how to use it. But since I'm here, I'm going to show you the difference between EBSCO Discovery Service and our classic catalog. EBSCO Discovery Service is like a Google search engine, but can search anything available within the EPCC online databases that we subscribe to, anything on the print or multimedia collections at all, five campus libraries. The classic catalog will also find similar resources, but not everything on the electronic. So you can use either or, and then we have five campus libraries, the Mission del Paso in the far east, northwest in the far west, Rio Grande in the downtown area, Trans Mountain in the northeast, Valle Verde, not considered kind of like the central area of El Paso, but central east, and then below the classic catalog, we have online databases. Those are the electronic resources that EPCC subscribes to. You can find newspaper articles from all over uh, the world. You can find El Paso Times. You can find journal articles, different resources. And I recommend that you watch that video to see what's available in there. The same for ebook collections. Those are electronic books that you can read on a browser or on a mobile device. And we have a lot of resources in all the subjects, but I also recommend watching that video if you're more interested on the ebooks. I already show you the frequently asked questions, but you can also access them through here. Our library research guides, those are like electronic handouts or individual websites. It could be either or, and they're by subject or by instructor. Some of your instructors will have their um, custom lib guide with a librarian that will be used during your library orientations. Below that, we have helpful internet websites. I know you're all Google experts. I know you can go into a browser and search for information, but here it would be curated websites with the librarians in different topics of interest, and you don't have to worry about the authority, either reliable or anything like that. Below that, we have our library distance education. So if you are an online student taking all your classes remotely, there are great resources for you to access everything in the libraries from home. Citation help and tutorials will have information on APA, MLA in Chicago on how to cite. We also have a software called Noodle Tools that you can access through here. Again, if you need a specific information on any of that, we're going to have videos for you on all of this on how to use it. So check our video list for any of these topics. Suggested materials for our purchase. You can suggest materials if there's any release, a novel. Feel free to suggest to the, for the libraries to purchase. And you can even recommend it to a specific campus, the one you attend or close to home. And then library policies. If you attend on campus, then there's our computer usage policy. And then below that, it's upcoming events. If there are any events happening at the libraries, it will show here. Borderlands is a student publication, so if you're doing local research or local history research, then this is a publication you want to use to search for information. And then at the bottom is the library forms. We have a community user library card. If you have a family member that is not a student and wants to use any of the five campus libraries, we have a give authorization form if you want to donate materials. The reserve is for the instructors and the faculty to put materials on reserve for your use. 
And then the two research sharing for article or book. If there's a journal article or a newspaper article or a book that you couldn't find on our collections, then we can request it through interlibrary loan from another college or university or public library around the world. Texture application, that's a card that you can get at any EPCC library, and it will allow you to use any Texas library, whether it's academic or public, if you're traveling during intercession or during the spring break, and you wanna use uh, the Dallas University Library or UTEP library locally, then you can get that card without paying a fee. You can access their services. Thank you for watching, and there's more information at the bottom on how to contact us on social media or to view all the locations. Hope you see the other videos that we have available for you.